children focus for virtual school and of course um, most important thing virtual therapy um, so the first thing that I'm going to recommend is that your child has a quiet place where they can be comfortable and feel that it is a workspace so if your house doesn't have a desk space, a tabletop is really good. Somewhere where they can sit and have their feet on the ground uh, and a chair that's a good height for them. Or some children need a cushion or something to help uh, adjust their, not only their height, but actually their weight in the seat. It really helps them with their listening skills. I recommend that a lot for speech therapy. The next thing is that they are positioned at a computer that is easy to use. So again, it's helpful if the computer is within reach in case they need to interact. If it's for therapy, they absolutely would be interacting with me via the keyboard and the mouse. That's very important. Um, some platforms will work from the iPad, but at Speech for Life, the platform we use is most compatible with the computer. And I'm working on creating another video so you can actually preview what that will look like and see some of the games and interactive features that we can use for therapy. And the last thing is to remind your child of their speech rules or their school rules before getting started. It's hard for children that are used to walking into the school knowing rules walking into their home knowing a different set of rules. Now they have to connect the dots and they're adjusting as we all are to this time. And Speech for Life, I'm fortunate that we've been practicing this way for a while now. But for your children, it is a new experience for them and you as well. And there's a learning curve to the technology and everything. But try to remember to create a space that feels educational or you can check out our website at www.speechforlife.org. Have a great day!